Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. Now Beauty and the Beast seems to be absolutely everywhere at the moment and although I haven't yet had a chance to see the movie, so many of you have requested a nice easy set of Beauty and the Beast nails. So here you are, I hope you enjoy, stay tuned. As always, after filing and performing cuticle work, I'm going to cleanse my nails with 99% isopropyl alcohol and there's a link in the top corner if you want to know how I look after my nails. Then I'm going straight in with my base coat and my favourite is Unt's Peel Off Base Coat. Apply an even layer and then allow to dry. Once that's dry, I'm going in with Essie's Aim to Misbehave, which was their celebratory 1000th colour, if I can say that correctly. And this is absolutely perfect for Beauty's dress or Belle's dress. And it's a gorgeous, sparkly, shimmery, bright yellow. Now the only thing is, it does really require a good two thick coats, if not three thin ones, to get that nice opacity. I personally did two generous layers and then allowed to dry before we we're going to go in with our next colour. And this is OPI's Kitty White, which is like a pearlescent semi-transparent white with lots of shimmer and when you add this over the top of the Essie Aim to Misbehave it creates the most beautiful mesmerizing shimmering yellow that just looks like that wonderful organza on Belle's dress. To clean up any mistakes I'm using my current favorite brush from Uber Chic which is a flat gel oval cleanup brush and this is so good at getting in around the sides. And when your base colour is dry on all 10 nails I'm going to go in with Morgan Taylor's Wonder Woman and this is just on my ring finger and we're going to create a rose. Now I have sped this up a bit so you can see but basically I'm starting with like a C shape and just curling around slightly. And then what I'm doing is getting quite a bit on the brush. So we've got a little bauble on the brush and sweeping it round on each side. So it's a curve and a sweep and you alternate sides. Now I'm using a fine detail brush from Nail Artisan and links to all the products are in the description if you want to know where to buy them. But as you can see, just keep going sweeping from side to side. For the stems and leaves, I'm going to be using all that jazz bar flower fl I cannot say this colour. Bar fly blues and then my fine detail brushes. And to try and copy the rose off the 2017 movie, I'm actually doing that same sort of backward S sweep that you see on the rose inside that beautiful sort of glass tomb. What's the proper word for it? I can't think. But basically that's what we do. And then off each bend, I'm putting an extra stalk. And you can see how easy it is to create these leaves. You just sort of do two lines with a curve. Curve one round one way and the other round the other way and meet up with a little flick at the end to get that detail on the leaf. Now you don't have to do this next stage but I like to add as much detail as I can and it's really easy and we're just doing tiny little dots with our brushes to add thorns and then taking a white and my favourite is OPI's Alpine Snow. I'm going to mix it with my red to get a nice pink tone and then just add some highlighting to the top of the petals and this just gives our rose that beautiful sort of 3D effect. And you can see it really starting to take shape now and it looks really pretty. And now I'm going to add some more detailing to my rose using all that jazz breakfast in bed which is a lovely sort of shimmery sage colour. And I'm just adding this onto the leaves doing a sort of little vein down the centre of the leaves and some extra detailing around the stalk and the top of the rose. If you don't have lots of different colours you could just add some white to your green to add the extra detailing or you don't really even have to do it, it's just that it does make that big difference for making your rose look really 3D and taking it from an amateur design done at home to something that looks really professional. If you want to make it look as though your rose is trapped inside that beautiful glass dome, then just take a white and do a sweep from the centre and down one side and then from the centre and down the other side again and then add some detailing at the top as though it's a little handle and then just add a little line as though the light is hitting the side of the glass. For some extra detailing you can add another one down the other side and then just like in the movie where it looks like there's ice going up the side of the dome you can do the same with the white from the bottom of your nail up. And remember if you have shorter nails just make the design smaller. I've had to elongate this to cover the whole of my nails so it would be much easier on shorter nails. 
Now we're moving on to our index finger and we're going to do another rose. So it's the same again with a C, but we're going backwards this time because I'm going up towards the cuticle area. And we're just getting a nice blob of nail polish on the end of that brush and then sweeping around and then just filling in the bottom. You can add extra detailing around the sides if you want to elongate the petals to make them look more realistic. And you can just keep adding to it until you're really happy with it. I tend to faff quite a bit to be honest just to make sure I'm super happy with the design and how it looks on my nail. And then we're going back in with that green, which I'm not going to say the name of because I can't say it properly, but it's from All That Jazz and it's earlier on if you want to watch it. And I'm just going to do my leaves exactly the same as before, which is two swept lines and then fill it in in between. And these are really effective. It's very, very simple and very quick. Now I have sped up most of this tutorial just because otherwise you'd have been probably sat around for 20 minutes and nobody wants to listen to me for 20 minutes. And just like before, while that green is drying, I'm going in with my white and my red to add some detailing to the top of the petals and make them look 3D. And then I'm going back in with that sage green from All That Jazz, which is called Breakfast in Bed, just to add some more detailing in the form of veins on the leaves. Now I'm going to be using foil adhesive on my thumb, my middle finger, and this is my little finger. So on the little finger, I'm applying it all the way up the nail and just getting a good coverage over the whole nail. And the white bits you can see in it, I think it's just getting a bit old now and some of it is, um, for want of a better word, congealed, ew. And when your foil adhesive is dry, it goes completely clear. So I'm going to now be applying the All That Jazz Real 24 Karat Gold Glitter. Now, just to say, I say this on all my videos in the description, that none of these videos are sponsored unless I say they're sponsored. I just use whichever products suit the tutorial that I'm filming. So for example, this time I've applied my glitter three quarters of the way up the nail, and then I'm going in with a gold pigment just to add some extra sort of depth to it and fill in the gaps in between the glitter flakes. Now you don't have to do this, but I just like the way it's a bit extra. Now, because I've used a foil adhesive, I need to go over the top first with a water-based top coat before using a regular top coat. Otherwise, it makes all the foil adhesive sort of crack and craze and lift. So I'm just applying a nice generous layer over the whole nail and capping the edges and then allowing it to dry. Now on the middle finger, I'm going to apply my foil adhesive from the cuticle area to about two thirds of the way up the nail and then allow to dry. And like I said before, once it dries, it goes completely clear so you can't actually see where it is. Then I'm going to apply my gold glitter again from the cuticle area and just stroking up. I'm starting on the skin so that it gives a nice graduated effect and it's not just plonked all in one place. If you're then happy with your look and you feel you've got enough glitter on the actual nail, then spend a bit of time just really, really firmly brushing those flakes down. It makes it a lot easier when it comes to applying your top coat. And then again, I'm taking my gold pigment and just applying it around the base of the nail and then brushing the excess up. And this just gives that beautiful extra sparkle. Again, we're going to apply our water-based top coat over the whole of this nail and then allow it to dry before we move on to our thumb. And on our thumb, we're going to do a full glitter coverage. So I'm applying my foil adhesive over the whole nail. And if you do get any around the cuticle area, just clean it off with a brush dipped in nail polish remover or acetone. And then I'm just going to briskly apply my glitter over the whole nail and brush firmly down to make sure it's completely flat before I go in with my gold pigment to finish off and then brush the excess off. And once you're happy you've got no loose glitter or pigment, cover the whole nail generously in your water-based top coat and then allow it to dry. And once all the water-based top coat is dry, it's time to apply your final glossy top coat. And at the moment I'm trialing a new one, so I don't want to say what it is yet until I'm sure if I'm happy with it or not. I have tried it out before and I wasn't too sure, so I'm giving it another go again, just because I want something that's a bit easier to apply than my glisten and glow usual top coat. And then finally we're just going to apply cuticle oil on the skin around the nails and massage in. And here are our final beautiful bell from Beauty and the Beast nails. Let me know what you think of these and if you give them a go. Also have you been to see the movie yet and can you tell me is it worth going to see? It seems to be doing very well in the box office and I love her dress but I haven't had a chance to go yet. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, then please give me a big thumbs up. 
and subscribe so you never miss out on my weekly nail tutorials. Be sure to check out my other playlists including all the different nail tutorials I do and my second channel Ginger Tash for my personal vlogs.